serve by King. USC hits it over. Was hoping for a tip. They didn't get it. Tried to go over the block. And another point for the Lopes. So they come right back in this game. Big game for GCU. This starts. And a double touch. Against Sam Lewis. Excuse me. Against Cole Paxson. Double touch charged against him. Jack Wyatt had the previous attacking error. Wyatt leads the Trojans in kills. This one's another point for the Lopes. GCU, quick run. Four nothing scoring run. Ashton King continuing to serve for the Lopes. Ashton King hammers it over. This one's set up. Nice little play there by Leisha. Saved. And they're not going to get to that one. So Cody Williams will get the kill. Sent it right back towards USC. They weren't ready for it. Kind of took Wyatt by surprise. Excuse me, kind of took Ryan Moss by surprise. So USC numbers kind of tough to see. Ashton King serve comes over. This one right up to over to Wyatt. Saved by the Lopes. Point USC. Net violation against the Lopes. They're trying to block that one. Got a little too aggressive. Sam Lewis to serve. Sam Lewis to serve now for the Trojans. Sam Lewis, the tallest player on this USC squad, standing at 6'10". Shalazada will get the kill for GCU. Yeah, it's a little shaky start for the Lopes. has been definitely shrugged off. The Lopes are doing a great job now taking advantage of the mistakes of the Trojans, and that's why they've got a big lead. So a couple points traded back and forth there. Ball will end up back in the hands of Gert Leisha. Cody Williams unable to dig it out to left side. And that one just sent a little bit off the side of Williams. Uh, not a bad look, just right off his hands. And a service ace for Alicia. He'll serve again. Alicia to serve. He sends it over and it's out. Point for GCU. The last time the Lopes were able to take advantage of the mistakes that the Trojans had and now let's see if they can keep doing that. Keep the lead. Side out for the Trojans. They will even it back up at seven. Lopes took a brief lead there. Jack Wyatt to serve. And then a service error against GCU. Jack Wyatt to serve now for USC. And that one's out. So three straight service errors, one for GCU, two for the Lo or two for the Trojans, and the Lopes will take an 8-7 lead. Kayla Blazer to serve now. Great dig by Wyatt, saved that one off of Blazer's shoulder, kind of rose up on his body, didn't expect it to be that high, and it's even again, eight to eight, double snowman. Connor to serve. Yeah, nothing Blazer can do about that one. Just try to stay in front of it and maybe get it into play, but it rolls right off him. It goes out of bounds. We got the double snowman on the uh, <laughs> on the scoreboard. Zach Melcher back set. And a block goes out, so Shalev Sada gets the kill. Great back set there by Zach Melcher.
Shalazada serves it. This one comes right back over. Very powerful serve up for Ashton King. Kill for the Lopes. Ashton King gets his kill. First of the game. I said presence at the net is going to be huge, and Ashton King must have heard me a great block at the net for Ashton King. Shalazada, saw it. another hard serve, tips the net. Set up for Lewis, and it's in. Cody Williams pulled back, didn't hit that one, thought it might have been going out. It wasn't. Catches the back line. Yeah, nothing Cody Williams can do about that one. If it goes out and he kicks it in, and could result in no points for GCU, but just take dodges the risk and takes the easy let go. Sam Lewis gets his first kill of the game. Lopes coming right back. Cody Williams, and it's blocked. Yeah, that went right back towards the GCU side. That one just sent right into the net by Cody Williams. Ryan just a little too anxious on that one. Wyatt to serve. Sorry, Moss to serve. Over to Colin Mosier. Tipped. Saved by USC. Dig by Wyatt. Set over. Grosso. Cheeky little tip by Grosso. This one back to Mosier. He's going to tap it. It gets over the blockers. Colin Mosier, what a play, finds the gap on the USC defense. Just a beautiful tip right over the defense, like you said, JP, for Mosier. And it results in another point for GCU. GCU doing a great job here early on executing their attacks, finishing things very well. Colin Mosier will serve now for the Lopes. Mosier hammers it over. And a service ace for Colin Mosier. Mosier gets the Lopes. First service ace of the game. GCU takes a two-point lead almost midway through this first set. Mosier, another powerful one. This gets over right back there. Oh, and Cody Williams gets a little high. No tip called. Point for USC. Grosso to serve. And it was going out, but Engelman saves it. Melcher backs it over to Shalev Sahada. He finishes that one no problem. Cleanest kill of the game for him. It's his third. Yeah, it's a beautiful kill by Shalev Sahada. Keeping the ropes in this one and keeping the lead. Back set. Blocked by the Lopes, great block by Cody Williams, play still alive, and another block by the Lopes. Jack Wyatt hit it over, and the Lopes said, get that weak sauce out of here. They sent it right back down. The soft kill gets hammered back down. Point for the Lopes, they lead by three. Kayla Blazer gets another block for the Lopes. Point for GCU, called it out. Shalazada shakes his finger, says that's not the right call. Well, I agree 100%. It was definitely out on SC. Even Paul Denuzier, the uh, PA announcer, saw that too. They tipped that one. Zach Melcher, the, the setter for GCU, is going to come talk to her about that. She seems pretty adamant that it's a USC point. And if we've got a replay, just definitely look at that because I'm pretty sure that SC touched that one last. Yeah, video replay would be great in this scenario. Now the side official coming to talk to Coach Worley. Lopes not happy with this call. This is a big call for momentum. It's whether the Lopes are going to go up by four or bring it back to two. So no point. Or so no redo, I should say. Point for USC. And Sam Lewis will serve. Cody Williams high set. Zach Melcher over to Shalev Zada. Shalev Zada picks up his fourth kill just midway through this set. Says, referee, you made the right, the wrong call. I'm just going to get it on my own. Yeah, ball don't lie, JP. Definitely a point for GCU, but they're able to get it back after the no call. 
Well, we will take a quick break. Lopes lead by three in the first set. Do you know who Ask GCU is? Um, I do not. All right, we're quick. Are you a Twitter? Welcome back here inside Antelope Gymnasium. The Thundering Pet Band led us in a little fight song for GCU, rooting them on. And the Lopes lead by three here, 15 points, just 10 away from winning this first set, the all-important first set. How big is it for momentum? Well, huge momentum shifter, JP. If you, the Lopes can get the first set against a team they took all the way to five, they can definitely set themselves up for the second and third set, hopefully close this thing out 3-0. First set is huge. It's a big game, last game before the MPSF playoff st starts, for the Lopes, that is. And a great kill. Even, even a win against SC, a team that they are tied in the division currently at 3-7. and seven. Uh, A huge win right now would be incredible for the Lopes, especially against a division opponent like SC. Yeah, a win would be big for GCU here. They give up a point there, pull it back within two. Cody Williams unable to dig that one out, so another service ace for Gert Leisha. Second of the game. Leisha to serve. And that one is out. The attack by the Lopes goes out. Point for GCU. Coach Worley having another word with the side official. Not happy about the officiating so far. And Trevor Weary checking in. The freshman. We go from an all-senior lineup bringing in a freshman. Well, Trevor Weary had a huge game. Last time you and I were on the call against UCLA, he had four kills. Eventually ended out with eight. So we'll see what the freshman can do with a big, make a big impact here in a tied game. So Leisha will serve again. All tied up, 15-15. And that serve is well out. You knew it right off the hand. That one was high. Side out, GCU. Trevor Weary now serving for the Lopes, and his serve is high. That one goes a couple feet past the back line. Trojans even it up again. Just a little too much mustard on that one, JP. He'll get an opportunity to get it back. Jack Wyatt serving for the Trojans. Engelman digs up to Blazer. Does does all he can to just get it over. A block by the Lopes keeps it on the USC side of the floor. Block again, Engelman. That one gets caught in some wiring. Melcher forced to just hit it over. Tries to find a gap in the back corner, doesn't. This one's set up, saved by the Lopes. Weary, over to Mosier. Saved by USC. This one over to Grasso. Great dig by Sky Engelman. Set over for Mosier, and the Lopes can't get it over. Melcher's set went a little too past the pin. Mosier didn't have an angle. What a rally. A yeah, very good rally by GCU. It's unfortunate they couldn't finish it off of the point, but very, very close game. Jack Wyatt, high serve, coming in with power. Sky Engelman saves it. 
Mosier doesn't hit it. Sky Engelman just has to hit it over. Melcher came sprinting for it. Huge dig, or I mean a huge kill by Jack White. He serves the ball, then he finishes off the same point. Not really sure why Mosier didn't go after that ball, and they had uh, had a uh, Melcher come all the way across to try to save that one, but uh, we'll see if the Wolves can get it back after this timeout. USC gets some momentum. They go up by two. We'll take a quick timeout. Techno music, loud noises, dance. Skirt, skirt. Twenty seconds. If I don't want to turn around. Just tell me when. All right. I feel that. Ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Welcome back here inside Antelope Gymnasium. Lopes trail by two. They let up a few points there. 3-0 scoring run by the Trojans. A good good timeout by Coach Worley. Yeah, good timeout. Keep this, keep the focus of the team real close. Let up a couple points. Let SC back into this one. But now it's Lopes' time to come in, get the lead back, and finish it off in the first set with a win. Yep, Lopes are going to need a little run of their own to bring this one back. Jack Wyatt to serve. Let's go, Lopes. Chance started by the bench. Jack Wyatt to serve. Back set blocked. Saved by Weary. Engelman up to Mosier. Colin Mosier. Point for GCU. <laughs> Thought it was tipped. Thought it was pretty clearly tipped. Uh, that was definitely hit off SC at the end. The libero dove for that one. And they still gave it to... I thought it might have been tipped by two USC defenders. That call is shocking. Wow. Getting a lot of boos from the fans out here, and I think they have an argument. Even SC is calling for just a redo. Fight, 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 fight. I think SC's telling them to hurry up, but this is a pretty surprising call. thought that one was pretty obvious. Coach Worley hopped up immediately off the bench and said, Unbelievable. The referees are going to come together and talk about this one. Yeah, I thought Colin Moser had a great kill there. I thought it tipped the blocking hands of the Trojan, and then even the diving hand of the libero redirected it into the feet of the line judge. I thought him of anybody would notice that one. That was a pretty obvious call. Big let's go Lopes chant comes out. Well, here's the momentum shift now, JP. Get the fans behind you, and this is a huge opportunity now for GCU to take advantage of the... I, I don't. I don't know what to say about that call. It was blatantly horrible call. Yeah, Coach Worley, I can read his lips. All he says is that is so bad, and a serve goes out. So a side out for the Lopes. They trail by two. Could be tied up. This Hopefully is, that call can give the Lopes some momentum. This is why the Lopes like playing in the Antelope Gymnasium. The crowd, you can hear them. It, this noise bounces off. It sounds like there's a million people in here. And they need to use that to their advantage. Blazer serves it over. Set up. Lopes can't get to it. 2017. Point for USC. Lewis comes back in. Connor Inlow to serve. Connor Inlow to serve for the Trojans. That one's out. Weary does a good job. Good eye by him. And a side out for GCU. Huge serves coming up for Shalev Zada. Let's we'll see if the big senior can get it done for the Lopes. Going to need all the points they can get now. Powers it over. Oh, hits the top band of the net. That one 
barely misses. Yeah, it seems like it might have been thrown just a little bit too far ahead of Shalev, and he sends it right into the net. Ryan Moss to serve for the Trojans. Tr Lopes trail by three, but they're running out of time. Good serve. Weary digs it. Up for Mosier. That one off his head. That one off the head of Leisha. Colin Mosier gets a kill. Second of the game. And Mosier will serve for the Lopes. Down by two. Mosier, real high ball. Hammers it into the net. So two service errors for the Lopes. Service errors are already bad in their own, and then you get late in the game, and they are costly. Rosso to serve. It splits the back line of GCU. And a timeout by Coach Worley. Still not happy with the ref. Having a word with her. Still looking at her. That's a funny little exchange they just had there. But we'll take a timeout. Wrapping up this first set. It's all wearing Pepsi hats. I don't get kids these days. I honestly don't. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. What do you say? Hey, you. I don't, I don't. They're all just wearing Pepsi hats. I, I, I stop. Don't stop. Understand stop. I don't understand Jump anything anymore. Pepsi going on is a adventure. solid beverage. In Arizona, there's so much to see. So much to experience. That was a horrible call. At GCU, was, adventure is never too far away. God. Offering over 200 academic programs with a Christian worldview and nestled in the heart of Phoenix, you can earn your degree in fewer than four Nine. years and explore everything Arizona has You skipped three last time. Find okay, your yeah. purpose at GCU. Set, Private, six, Christian, four, three, Visit two, one. Slash Welcome back, Antelope Gymnasium. Lopes trail by four. USC just two points away from closing out this first set. Lopes had a lead, 16 to 15, and then USC went on a 3-0 run, has been controlling this set ever since. Well, you can't necessarily blame a few of the points on the referees. I know that there are at least two that should have went the way of GCU, but for the most part, the Lopes have had a few missed opportunities in terms of serves and just the ball not landing where they want it to get to go. Now let's go Lopes chance starting rooting for a rally here. Rosso to serve. Mosier saves it. Melcher up to Weary. Blocked. And a point for USC. Great block by Gert Leisha there. Dig. The bench scrambles out of the way. Shalev's on a great save there. Gets it over the water cooler. USC coming with an attack. Now Grosso blocked by the Lopes. Lands on their side of the court. And they will win the first set. Tough break for the Lopes there late. But they did make some errors down the stretch. 25-19 USC wins set one. Tonight's game spotlights GCU TV's latest series, Ask GCU. In this week's episode, the team answers the question, is this a real school? Check it out. It's who's? Who's? Who's your? Oh, these are us.
Is GCU a real school? Okay. What are you guys learning? Welcome back here inside Antelope Gymnasium. Lopes dropped a tough first set, but they're hoping to bounce back. Well, they My definitely will need to I bounce mean, back here in the second set. Uh, we got a little, uh, got off to a bit of a rocky start, and of course that is so much the chagrin of some of the that is to some of the chagrin of. The referees and a few missed calls, but uh, well, the Lopes are going to have to bounce back. Yeah, Shalev Zahada led the way in that first set. Four kills for the Lopes, and there was a stockpile of Lopes and Trojans with two kills. Grasso had two, Inlow had two, Wyatt had two, and for GCU, Colin Mosier, he had two himself. The one thing that killed the Lopes in that set, they had seven attacking errors. That is definitely not going to get it done for GC. You need to clean up those attacking errors. We have to make some noise. Nobody sits down until the Lopes score. The Trojans will begin the second set with a serve. Gianluca Grasso to serve. All right, USC is ready to go. They will start us off in this second set. Fans are on their feet chanting, let's go Lopes. Solid serve by the Trojans. This one over to Luke Turner. Turner checked in and midway through that, and a block for GCU, it's in. Zachary Melcher and Kayla Blazer team up for the block for GCU. Zachary Melcher now to serve for the Lopes. And the block by the Lopes kind of slows that one down, unable to get to Trevor Weary, where he was expecting it to come. So another point for USC, one to one. Side out for the Lopes. Service error goes well over the head of the back line of GCU. And now Luke Turner will ser serve for the Lopes. Two service aces on the year. Gets this one over. Back set. Not a lot of power, not a lot of angle on that one for the Trojans. Over to Shalev Saada. And a point for GCU. That one went up and tapped the rep on the back. Dead ball. Point for the Lopes, three to one. Early lead. Well, this is the kind of start they wanted last set. But hopefully now they can carry this momentum for the rest of the set and get the win. Luke Turner serves this one over. Set by USC, great block by GCU, still alive. Wyatt tips it over. Great diving save by Melcher. This one over to Shalesada, blocked. And a net violation. Point for the Lopes, but even if it wasn't in that violation, I think GCU would have saved that one and got it over. Luke 
Luke Turner continuing to serve for GCU. He has him on a 3-0 scoring run. Almost found the corner on that one. Wyatt blocked by the face of Melcher. He keeps it alive. This one over Shalevsada. Another kill for Shalevsada. Third kill of the set. GCU leads 5-1. Luke Turner serving again for GCU. And a great save by Engelman. Lopes are doing all they can. Great pancake by USC, but a point for GCU. Antelope Gymnasium's going crazy. What a save. Well, this is the kind of, hopefully now the, uh, the fumbles have moved their way over to the SC side, and GCU can take this set and the next two and get the win. A great play by the Lopes and a little fumble there by SC. Luke Turner gets this one over, and SC will get the kill and the bleeding. Stop the 5-0 run for the Lopes. During that run, the Lopes had a lot of great saves. Melcher saved one of the attacks with his face. Engelman saved it with his shoulder. Great job by him to keep the play alive. Kurt Leisha serving, and it's well over. Off the hand, came off high. Side up for the Lopes. They're up 7-2. to two. Comfortable five-point lead, and Caleb Blazer will hope to extend it. Blazer dug by Paxson. And Melcher can't save that one with his shoulder this time. Jack Wyatt, to serve. Jack Wyatt will now serve for USC. This serve is in. Weary. Quick tempo to Ashton King. Back set by Paxson. Blocked by the Lopes. Shalev Zada. Huge fist bump. What a block by Shalev Zada and Ashton King. Absolutely hammer that one back. Presence at the net, JP. Shalev knows this is his final game here at the Antelope Gymnasium in front of all these great fans. He's not going to let anything up. A huge block. And now the momentum definitely in the way of the Lopes. And as I say that, unfortunately, the ball goes straight into the net. Shalev would have loved to have that serve go over. That's back-to-back -back service aces for him, dating back to the first set. I'm sure he's hoping to serve better later in this set. But so far, great game by Shalev. Seven kills, one block, one dig. Connor Inlow to serve. Just floats this one over. Set up to Ashton King, and it's in. Ashton King. Not sure what happened with the USC defense. Don't know if it tipped a blocker. Or they didn't think it was going to be in, but they kind of let, let that one slide, and it wasn't the most powerful kill. But still, it goes to Ashton King. Trevor Weary to serve for the Lopes. Number four in black. Back set. Hammered home. Great block by Ashton King. Another block by the Lopes, but it's out. Well, not a bad block by the Lopes. Just sent a little bit too hard off the hands of Zachary Melcher, and it goes out of bounds. But I'm loving the play right now by GCU. They're playing behind this crowd, and they're playing really well. Gianluca Grasso gets the kill for the Trojans. Engelman, Melcher, and that's not going to be in play. Engelman's dig was a little out of the way of Melcher, and Melcher didn't do a great job keeping it in play. Point for USC. They pull within three. That serve was spinning towards the corner. Melcher over to Turner. It's blocked, and it's out. Luke Turner with a great kill for the Lopes. Ashton King to serve now for GCU. Set. Blocked by the Lopes and it's out towards the GCU bench. Ryan Moss gets the kill for the Trojans. 10-7. Lopes doing a great job so far this set. No attacking errors yet. They had seven in the first set. Cleaning that up so far, and they lead by three. 
Grosso serves, tips the net, saved by Blazer. Melcher over to Shalev, and a great block by Sam Lewis and Jack Wyatt. 6-5 and 6-10, they were able to tower over that one. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. Lewis and Wyatt are the two taller guys on the team, and you know, they just in the right place at the right time with a huge block for USC. Grosso serves down by two. Great save by Weary. Serve over to Luke Turner, and Turner will get the kill. The block goes out. Lopes get their lead back up to three. Melcher, that serve is high and out. It did dip a little, got close to that back line, but good eye by the Trojans. Sam Lewis to serve. And that serve is in. Service A, she left out to let that one go by him. And it was close call, but it is in. Finds the line. The Trojans are within one. The closest they've been all game since it was one to one. And that serve is in the net. Side out for GCU. Luke Turner to serve for the Lopes. Back set. And it's out. Ryan Moss gets a little too aggressive with it, tries to cross the court, and he sends it high. Point for the Lopes. They lead by three. Luke Turner to serve again. Luke Turner was serving when they went on that initial 5-0 run. He's hoping to do another run here. Two straight points for him. USC forced to just hit it over. Lopes can get real aggressive. Back set to Shalev Saada. What a combination. Zachary Melcher to Shalev Saada. They hammer it home. Yeah, beautiful assist from Melcher to Zahada, and now the Lopes are starting to carry more momentum. Now they just need to finish it off here in the second set. Timeout by USC. Lopes lead 14-10. My name is Anthony Perez, and I earned my master's in education at Grand Canyon University. I feel that the degree program at GCU definitely got me ready and prepared to reach both short and long-term goals. It's definitely prepared me to lead my classroom and also be a teacher leader to find innovative ways of solving the problems in education in the state of Arizona. I'm definitely committed to student success and so I'm very passionate about working with students. What I absolutely love is when they get that spark in their eye and they understand a concept. When I have those moments is making it all worthwhile in everything that I'm doing. Grand Canyon University definitely has a vibrant campus that has many resources that are accessible. I feel that GCU has prepared me to be an agent of change so that way I can support and advocate on behalf of children in the state of Arizona. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private. Christian. Affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Welcome back here inside Antelope Gymnasium. Lopes lead 14 to 10, and they're hoping to close this first set out. It was right about now when USC went on a little bit of a run, and they were able to finish that first set. Well, now GCU's going to have to be able to make a run of themselves and carry this momentum, carry the, the passion of the fans, carry the passion of the team right now, and try to take this second set. Luke Turner to serve. Luke Turner to serve for GCU. He's on another scoring run, 3-0. Set by Leisha over to Wyatt, and they'll connect for a beautiful play and end the Lopes scoring run. They pull back within three. They have the serve. It'll be Leisha. Leisha gets tip of the net. 
bounces to Blazer. Weary is tipped by the blocking hands of USC. This one's set up for Wyatt. Blocking hands of Lopes are there. Engelman saves it. Melcher, back set. Shalev Sada. And Shalev Sada will get the kill. Gets the Lopes to 15 points, just 10 away. Yeah, beautiful job by Shalev Zahada again finishing that kill. And Well, we were in this particular situation last time, and SC was able to come back, so now the Lopes just going to have to fend that off and try to reduce the mistakes and take set two. Got to keep your foot on the gas pedal, and Blazer will try to do that. He serves it over. Leisha back set to Wyatt. Blocked by the Lopes. It's out. Point USC 15-12. to 12. Yeah, Not a bad block by the Lopes, just unfortunately goes out of bounds. Jack Wyatt. Wyatt hammers it over. Engelman, nice dig. Set up for Ashton King. USC saves it. They're forced to just tap it over. Miscommunication by them. Up to Shalev. He rolls it off his hand, gets it over. This one for Grasso, blocked by the Lopes. And it goes around the referee podium. Shalev can't get to it. USC back within two. Jack Wyatt to serve. Jack Wyatt hammers it over. Weary, nice job keeping that alive. Melcher back to Weary. It's high. Miss hit there, wants a tip. Point for USC. And the coaches are livid again. Coach Worley is not happy going to go talk to the referees again just absolute stunned look on his face <laughs> warning foul against the Lopes now Melcher going to come talk to the head official and we've seen this before but not to this extent and not this early in the match the Lopes genuinely seem like they're losing some points yeah a lot of points have definitely been cost to some very questionable calls but I, despite that the Lopes do need to come in and sort of rally around this and get some points on the board granted there have been some very questionable calls made by the referees but it's also not the referee's fault when the Lopes, you know, miss a serve or, or uh, send one into the yeah, net. The Lopes are leading in errors. Definitely an area they need to clean up. Wyatt will serve again. Tips the net. Saved by Melcher. Engelman right to Shalev. Shalev takes an aggressive angle. This one just hit over. Melcher. Over to Weary. Trevor Weary gets up high and brings it down hard. Trevor Weary puts the Lopes back up by two. Well, we talked about the freshman early on when he checked in about being a difference maker and Trevor Weary trying to be a big difference maker for the Lopes, getting them a point and shifting the momentum back in their direction. And Shalev Saada's serve goes high. And to clear that last play up, it was a yellow card assessed to head coach Matt Worley. Well, you can't really blame them in, in some of these calls, JP. They've been very, very, very questionable. Yeah, and that is the third time he has been outspoken with the referee, so not surprised that her ruling that one. Just a floater serve comes over. Ashton King keeps it alive. The Lopes do a great job there. I think that might have hit Ashton King three times or so. <laughs> the referees didn't get that one. And a great point by the Lopes. Ashton King saves it off the net and sends it back down. Gets the point for the Lopes. What a great rally. A great rally by the Lopes, and now it's SC who gets the questionable call. Might have bounced off Ashton King a couple more times than needed, but yeah. regardless, point for the Lopes. I think he blocked it. I think he tipped it into the net. Then I think it went off the net and hit him again, but the referees say play on. Weary hit it over, and then Ashton King sends it right back down. And now the officials are going to come talk about it. The referee can't hear the side official because of the music. It is loud in here. The fans are excited for this game. Well, they're going to need it loud in here, especially with uh, such a big game for GCU. A lot of playoff implications, a lot of division standings, where they're going to be at the end of the season. And this is the last home game. Lopes want to get a win in front of these home crowds, especially with all these seniors. 
Yeah, I think they're talking about the exact thing we were. Ashton King may have tipped it a couple extra times. May have blocked it, then hit it, then hit it again off his chest. Now the coach is having a word with his players. He's going to come over and talk to the referee. Let's go Lopes chant erupts out here in Antelope Gymnasium. Jack Wyatt discussing the call with the head official. I think if the official overturns this call, I think Coach Worley may get thrown out. <laughs> yeah, I agree 100%, especially with how questionable the Lopes have been getting. And there's a possibility that that might happen. Coming in for the Lopes, number seven, Jack Lopes bringing Jack Burton into Jack serve. Burton Point will stay serve. as called. And he gets the go ahead. We are back in play. Jack Burton slams it well into the net. Inadvertent timeout by USC while they were talking to the officials. May have iced him a little bit there. And he is charged with a service error. That makes it 10 service errors for the Lopes and nine attacking errors. Ryan Moss, number 24 for the Trojans, brings it over. Turner, Melcher tries to get cute with it. He'll just set it up for Weary this time. And it's in, Trevor Weary. Point for the Lopes. Well, that one just barely clipped the sideline for Trevor Weary and results in another point for GCU. And like I said, Weary trying to make an impact as the freshman in this team, trying to make his presence felt. And Trevor Weary, or Zach Melcher serve, it looked like it was going out. USC called it, they still hit it. They get a play together and they get the, the kill. And they'll get the point, they pull it within one. And Luca Grasso. Not sure what's going on. The referee is talking to the scorekeeper there. Not sure where the clarification on the score would be. I'm pretty sure we've been accurate for the whole game. Yeah, our stat cast here says 18-17. The scoreboard up there says 18-17. A lot of delays in this game. It's only fitting this game comes down to the wire. Both coaches having a word with their players as the referee tries to figure this one out. Still having a word with the athletics game operations staff over there. People doing the scoreboard. Shalefzada coming to talk to the head official. Having a good laugh and a good chuckle. We get this officiating crew quite a bit throughout the season. And the referee telling his coach what happened. Score will remain 18-17. Don't know what change happened. But Grosso will serve for the Trojans. Grosso gets it over. Engelman takes an elbow from Weary. But Shalev Saada, he'll get the kill. Lopes lead by two, six points away from evening up the sets. Yeah, great finish by Shalev Zahada right off the chest of Jack Wyatt. This is what the Lopes need to do, take advantage of as many points as they can and try to clean up some of these service errors. Zach Melcher serve, goes out, misses the back line. It was close. Good eye by USC, 19-18, back to one. 
Coming in for USC, number six, Chris Hall. Chris, Chris Hall, Hall the freshman setter, coming in to serve. Chris Hall floats it over. Luke Turner. Melcher backs it to Turner. Blocked. And Shalev keeps it alive. Keeps it alive with his head. Just headed it up in the air. What a play by Shalev Saada. Engelman. Melcher backs at Luke Turner. USC keeps it alive. Grosso. It's out. Point. GCU. What a header. What a heads up play by Shalev Saada. No pun intended. Uh, like you said, JP, a great heads-up play by Shalev Zahada, and Lopes were able to keep that rally going and finish it off with a mistake on SC, and now this is where they need to finish things off here in the second set. Zahada almost gives the Jordan shrug to his teammates, say, hey, my head was there, why not use it? He hops up, keeps that play alive. This one by Wyatt. Lopes handle it. Melcher, back set. Shalev Zahada, alive. Tipped out. Engelman diving. Shalev again. It's in. Shalev Saada. A point for GCU. Paxson claiming his foot was right on the line. And the ball had to have bounced to his side. And a timeout USC. Lopes lead by three late in this second set. We'll take a timeout too. We'll be back on GCU TV. Arizona's private Christian University is a top tourism market right in the heart of Phoenix. Bustling with real world opportunities for students who want to learn the art of hospitality management and business world. Join the student team delivering unmatched services at the GCU Hotel where beautiful amenities like the Oasis Pool, Full Service Fitness Center, Canyon 49 Grill, and Artisanal Coffee Shop GCBC provide hands-on learning. Hospitality and business students can gain workplace skills and leadership training while working on the rolling greens of the GCU Championship Golf Course, featuring 7,200 yards of expansive tees and tree-lined fairways, plus a brand new luxury clubhouse, golf pro shop, and a low house restaurant. Across every enterprise, you have the chance to network, learn, and grow. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Antelope Gymnasium. Lopes lead 21 to 18. Shalev Zaada picks up his 11th kill of the game on that last attack and gives the or puts the Lopes just four points away from winning this game. Well, this is where the Lopes are going to have to capitalize, JP, and finish this off in the second set, carry some momentum in the third and the fourth. Because SC has come back before. SC planning on coming back. Back set. And SC will get the kill. 21-19. Back and forth we go. They pull back within two. And Gert Leisha will serve. Leisha just over the net, very solid. And Kayla Blazer, it's out. Great one-handed set by Melcher, but Blazer unable to keep that one in play. Yeah, great set by Zach Melcher, and yeah, it's a little bit too much pepper on that one by uh, by Glazer. Leisha to serve. Very powerful, a lot of momentum into that one. Weary diving save. Back to Weary, tipped by USC on the net. Saved by Engelman, Melcher, over to Weary. And Trevor Weary with the kill, Jack Wyatt can't handle it. Lopes and the USC run 22-20. The freshman making his presence felt three kills for Trevor Weary. Right off the hand is Jack Wyatt. Yeah, Weary checked in midway through this set, already having an impact. Three kills on seven attacks. And now Colin Mosier comes in for GCU. He'll serve. Hey. 
Cole Mosier, high serve, it's out, finds the purple. So a side out for GCU or for USC. They pull back within one. They can't get over that hump of one. They were tied one to one in this set, but have only been able to bring the deficit to one. Haven't been able to tie the game back up. Jack Wyatt will take on the mission. Wyatt hard serve. Turner saves it. Melcher over to Weary. Trevor Weary off the back of Leisha. Trevor Weary. 23-21 Lopes, fourth kill for the freshman. Shalev Sahada to serve. to serve now. He gets a piece of the net. Barely gets over. Weary pushes it back. Blocked by the Lopes. It goes out. Melcher deflects it out of bounds. Shalev Sahada couldn't get there in time. 23-22 coming down to the wire here. Well, it seems like the back and forth is just going to continue for the Lopes. It seems like whenever they get a point, USC follows it right back. they got to be able to get the lead, keep keep the lead, I should say, and just get some points on the board. Melcher over to Weir. USC handles it. Not a lot of power behind it. Grosso block by the Lopes. The King, Ashton King, sends it right back down in USC's face. Huge block by the King up front. Now this is where the Lopes need to finish it off. 24-22, the Lopes just one point away from winning. Sends it over. Good serve by Weary. Lopes going up for the block again. Sky Engelman, great job saving that one. And it's in! Luke Turner finishes off the second set. Lopes win one to one the sets moving to the third set all tied up what a game we have so far here what is the best place to get GCU merch you ask ask GCU finds out the best place to get GCU merch. So we're going to go to some of our on-campus uh, Lopes shops and just show you how great the merch is. Lopes shop. Ooh, look at the mug. Get a cute great stuff. What are you shopping for? Oh, selfie stick, Tatum. Tatum. Can't have, too, can't have too much love for that. Ooh, the hipster color in the video, Elliot. <laughs> I actually have this sweater that I really want. Elliot, buy this, buy this for me. You should be a year of happiness. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> oh, so this is my outfit. I'm going to have you guys try on yours. And you have to outfit. Look at these views. <laughs> and, and, and all this could be yours. Oops. So there you have it, guys. There's so many different GCU options of merch that you can get online and in service. So check out both and see which one's your favorite. Can I keep this? Tweet, hashtag, ask GCU to get your questions. Welcome back here inside Antelope Gymnasium. What an electric third set. It started off slow. We had a lot of controversial rulings, or second set, I should say. A lot of controversial rulings, a lot of discussions with the referee, but it picked up, the energy got high, and the Lopes finished it off. Well, it's a good thing they did finish it off. They were unable to finish it off in the first set. And for a, Granted, there were a lot of very questionable calls in the first and the second set but regardless the Lopes did have several service errors they're leading right now in service errors with 12 and they're getting service aced five to one so yeah you can blame a little bit of it on the calls but for the most part it's not the referee's fault but the Lopes are struggling right now but they picked it up here in the second half now carry the momentum into third and finish it off in the fourth and it has gone both ways a little bit there's yes. a couple controversial attacks by the Lopes that were close to being out didn't know exactly in this corner judge here on the near side of the court called it in and then the obviously the other ones were tips against USC that weren't called so definitely some tough situations both ways right 
So you just got to clean up the errors, and that's pretty much simple. Whoever's going to make less errors in the set is going to win it. Well, I'll tell you what, JP, I'm not going to complain if Ashton King hits the ball three times and it results in a low yeah. point. But, uh, yes, you're definitely right. Questionable calls happen on both sides, but uh, Lopes just got to make sure they play and start out hot here in the third in the uh, third set. Lopes fans are on their feet. And we're getting ready to go to this third set. The huge third set. Somebody will take a 2-1 lead at the end of this set and have a chance to close it out in the fourth set. And the Lopes have all the momentum. They're going to hope to feed off that and feed off their fans. The Lopes will start this serve. set serving Trevor Weary. Will serve. Weary. Great job by GCU. Or I mean by USC getting that one over. Jack White will get the kill for the Trojans. Get him up one to zero. Jack White gets the kill, and Jack White will get the serve. Jack White, very powerful serve. Sky Engelman able to control it. Shalev Sahada hammers it home. Twelfth kill of the game for him, leading everybody by five. Yeah, Shalev making his last home game a memorable one. Twelve kills for the senior. Let's see if the Lopes can... Get him a win. Hitting 520. Six percentage. Having a phenomenal game block by the Lopes. Goes out. Turner and Blazer on that one blocking error. Charge to them. And USC leads 2-1. to one. Attack by the Lopes, dug out by USC. Grosso going to hit this. Wow, got under that one, sent it to the ceiling. Never seen that before. The Lopes fans are really going to get on him for that one. They don't let anything like that slide. Havoc's here tonight. Really going to let him know his mistake. Yeah, definitely a completely full send into the stands. Melcher with the serve. Leisha over to Grosso, blocked. It's out. Good discipline by the Trojans letting that one find the floor. And it was out. Ryan Moss to serve. Luke Turner saved it. Blazer blocked out. Point for GCU. Kind of mixed reactions there. Some of the lopes didn't know if it was going to be in or not, but it was. Zach Melcher. Got his game face on, looking real serious after that one. Leisha. What a save. Melcher saves it. Lopes just forced to hit it over. Paxson. And a double hit against Paxson. What a huge mistake that is. They had all the time in the world to handle that one. Well, now GCU's got to take advantage of the mistakes of USC. They haven't been able to do it too well in the previous two sets, but here in the third, Let's see if they can make that turnaround. Luke Turner. Leisha up to Lewis. USC gets that point right back. We're tied again, 4-4. Four, four. Gianluca Grasso to serve for the Trojans. Grasso gets it over, Turner, nice job handling it. Melcher, over to Weary, tipped by USC and falls on their side of the court. Trevor Weary gets another kill, his fifth. Yeah, right off the hands of Leisha, up the front courts. Kayla Blazer floats this serve over, Leisha. To Moss, sent back in. Very aggressive play. 
by Wyatt there. Moss hit it over. It was blocked by the Lopes. And yeah. Wyatt sent it right back down. Fits right, right off the chest of uh, Caleb Blazer, and SC was able to finish it. And Lewis, it's in. And oh, point for the Lopes. The referee saw that one. Overrules the line, Judge. USC's going to have a word with them. Now, JP, I don't want to tamper with anything, but referee came up to us at the break and offered if she could put our wa her water on the table. So I don't want to say that that helped our odds, but... Uh, she is using our table. She is using our table. But either way, it just clips the back end of the uh, court for GCU. Shalevza Ada to serve for GCU. Great dig by Paxson. Moss going to come over with it. Block slows it down. Melcher. Weary. Paxson going to save it again. He will save it. Grosso forced to just hit it over. Great job by him. Another setup, Ashton King. Lopes, perfect execution all around on that point. Yeah, this is what they needed. This is the kind of start the Lopes needed to. I know it's been very close, but they're reducing their errors, and now they're relying on their game to get them the win. Lopes leading this one seven to five. She lets Otto to serve again. Hit, hits the net, won't be a service ace. Engelman digs it. USC gonna set up Leisha. Block by the Lopes, it goes out. Seven to six, USC. Solid play by them. Engelman unable to keep that dig on his side of the floor. Burtley should have served. Burton does a good job keeping that. And a tip by Ashton King. What a tip by him. A cheeky little play there. Taps it over. Eight to six. Lopes. Yeah, beautiful little tap over the top by Ashton King. Get the points for the Lopes. Trevor Weary. Leisha. Or to Moss. Weary saves it. Melcher. Up to Turner. It's in. Luke Turner, point for GCU, kill his fifth of the game. Impact players on the bench for GCU, keeping the Lopes in this game. Now they just got to start adding on to the lead, get a little more comfortable because they have let SC back in in both sets. They lead by three, weary to serve, Paxson. Leisha to Wyatt, it's blocked out of bounds. Fist bumped by Leisha. He gets the point, nine to seven. Jack Wyatt to serve. Jack Wyatt has the ball for the Trojans. Wyatt, hard hit. Engelman doing a great job digging today. Luke Turner going to have that one, and that one's over the back line. Great block by the Trojans. Jack Wyatt to serve. Jack Wyatt serving again. They trail by one. First attacking error of this set by the Lopes. Wyatt, powerful Engelman. Melcher up to Shalev. Blocked. Paxson dives in. Leisha. Over to Grosso. Blocked by the Lopes. It's out. Lopes only have one attacking error so far this set, but they have plenty of blocking errors. That's the third or fourth blocking here in this set. Nine to nine, the score. Jack Wyatt sends it over. Side out for the Lopes. Ten nine, GCU leads. But the number 14 team in the country is having to work for it. Ashton King serving now. Leisha up to Moss, as pretty as can be. They go tempo. And they get the kill. 
Volleyball's a game of runs. Neither team's gone on a significant run here in this third set. That's probably going to decide it is which team goes on a run first. Melcher to Shalevzada. And it's back on that side of the court. What a save. It goes out anyways. So a point for USC. Zach Melcher just gets this one over. Grosso sends that one down. Ties it up again, 11 to 11. Well, like you said, JP, uh, a run here for GCU would be huge. It's what's more than likely going to decide which team gets hot here in the middle of the game to sort of carry the momentum into the final bit of this set. Melcher went to Blazer in a double touch. That one was pretty obvious to see. Ryan Moss with the error there. And the Lopes take the lead right back. That one kind of came in sideways on him and he wasn't ready for it. Made that mistake. Luke Turner serving. Leisha up to Moss, or up to Lewis. And the block by the Lopes goes out. Side out for USC. 12-12. Closest set yet. No team's had more than a two-point lead. Excuse me, the Lopes had a three-point lead momentarily. But other than that, it's been two points. Trevor Weary having some problems with his glasses. He fixed it now. We're ready to go. Rosso bringing the serve over. And he gets very favorable by that one. That is definitely the luckiest serve that SC has had so far. It Hits the net. Out. Yeah. Oh, straight down. Bounced right on the top of the net and just rolled right over the top for SC. Very fortunate by Grosso. USC will take it. They get their first lead of the set. 13-12. That one nicks the net but gets to the back line. Shalev Saada. And that's blocked on the low side of the court. What a block by Sam Lewis. Yeah, big block by SC. And Lopes got to make sure that SC doesn't carry the momentum for the rest of the set and try to get things back here. We talked about it, Phil. First team to go on a run. SC on a 3 nothing scoring run. Let's see if the Lopes can match it. Grosso to serve again. And it's out. Side out. Side out, GCU. They trail by one. Caleb Blazer, number 18, will serve for GCU. Leisha backs up to Morris. Turner is able to handle it. Weary got that one. That one's over to Wyatt. And Wyatt outside of the pin. So a point for the Lopes. An attacking error for Wyatt. Well, this is what the Lopes have to do. Take advantage of the mistakes of SC and try to get points on the board. They haven't been able to capitalize too much, but maybe here's their chance in the third set. Caleb Blazer gets that serve in, just grazes the net. Blocked by GCU into the crowd. Melcher thought twice about getting that one. And a timeout on the floor. This one's immediate timeout. So we'll take a timeout too. We'll be back. 15-14 USC leads. Doctors are using, and that way when I see them, they're like, yep, that's my product right there. 
I feel like I'm becoming an engineer because throughout the classes and my activities that I'm involved in working at the lounge, I'm learning how to problem solve in a short amount of time. I am able to get understanding what my purpose is. My purpose is to be a leader and to help everyone around me. I'm excited to learn and I want everybody else to be excited. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Welcome back here inside the Lopes Gymnasium. Lopes Trail, 15 to 14, a kill by Jack Wyatt. Gave the Trojans the lead. And we will be wrapping up this third set right in the middle of it, and it will come down to the wire. This has been an absolute even game so far. 12 service aces or errors for each team. 67 attacks for each team and 31 kills. So almost identical stats. This one's coming down to the wire. Sam Lewis will serve. Melcher over to Weary. Well, the biggest difference maker, JP, has been the service aces for SC. Six to GCU's one. Sam Lewis will serve. Lopes have also had a lot of assist errors, 13 to, to uh, USC's 10. So SC has been able to take advantage of the errors, whereas GCU just has not. Or attacking errors, I'm sorry. And Sam Lewis hits that one into one of his teammates' heads. So a side out for GCU. They pull back within one. And Shalev Saada, the powerful server, will come to the back line for the Lopes. Shalev hammers it over, and it's over. Side out for the Trojan service error against Shalev Saada. Shalev has not been able to find the court much with his serves this game. He's had a couple in the net. That one goes over. He's going to need to tighten that one up. One of the key servers for the Lopes. That one is out too. Gert Leisha matches it with a service error of his own. Trevor Weary to serve. Trailing by one. Leisha over to Moss. Engelman, nice dig. Melcher, cross court to Turner. Turner taps it. Got a little too much height on that tap. And two USC back line members run into each other. They can't get to it. Big miscommunication by USC and a big advantage for GCU. Now they just got to capitalize. Paxson ran into Grosso. And Grosso already has, I don't know if it's a finger cast or just tape on his finger, but he jammed it. Seemed a little shaken up after that one. See if he can recover. Weary. Set up. Saved by the Lopes. Engelman does a good job. Weary. Hits it over. Grosso digs it. Oh, and Engelman can't get to that one. A kill for Connor Inlow. And another lead for the Trojans. Yeah, just a little out in front of Sky Engelman on that dig. Lopes are going to have to look to score some points here. Connor Inlow serves it. It's high and it's out. Tied again, 18-18. This has been the biggest difference maker, JP, is USC has capitalized on GCU's errors, but GCU hasn't been able to capitalize just yet. Well, an er or error against USC. Let's see if the Lopes can do it. Ashton King, floater comes over. Leisha up for Ryan Moss, and Moss hammers it home. 19-18 Trojans lead late in this third set. Moss gets his fifth kill of the game. Stats are being stuffed here tonight. Weary. Melcher up to Blazer. And it's tipped. Caleb Blazer gets the kill. His second of the game. 19-19. Maybe that can give the Lopes some momentum. Hopefully it can, JP. The Wolves are finally finding ways to score, and they're keeping this game as close as possible. Zach Melcher serves into the net. You can't win games late when you're serving it into the net and making service 
errors, handing points to the other team. That's exactly what the Lopes do there. Serve comes over. Sky Engelman, great dig. Melcher up for Turner and blocked out of bounds by USC. Luke Turner ties the game 20-20. Well, we've been going back and forth so far, JP. One team is going to have to take advantage, and one team is going to end up pulling ahead. Just got to hope that it's GCU. Luke Turner serves up for Sam Lewis. Great one-handed save by Melcher, but it goes into the crowd. Sam Lewis gets the kill. Great save attempt by Melcher. Just gets right off the wrong side of his hand and goes straight out of bounds. We'll see how... Barrasso's hand is doing here on this serve. Throws it high in the air. Seems just fine. Engelman. Melcher. It's blocked. It's out. Point Lopes. 21-21. Boy, is this set getting good. It has not been outside of one point in the last ten points yeah, both this ways. Has definitely been the definition of back and forth, back and forth. And the question is, is who's going to pull away, JP? Whoever creates less errors will find a way to win this one. Colin Mosier. Mosier, high serve, hammers it over, and it's out. Just misses the side of the court. Had a lot of power on it. Mosier will immediately check back out. Coming in for the Trojans, number six, Chris Hall. Chris Hall to serve. Chris Hall comes in to serve. He had a service error the one time he came in earlier. And he's in again. They lead by one. Referee gives him the go-ahead. Couple spins of the ball. Sends it over. GCU handles it. Melcher backs it to Shalev. It's blocked and it's well out. No chance. USC was going to get that one. We're tied again. 22-22. And Hall will go back out. Shalev Sahada to serve. Shalev Sahada to serve. He needs to get one in just for his confidence and for the low scoring a point. Ace would be huge. Hammers it. Great dig, great save by Wyatt. And a block by GCU! Zachary Melcher and Ashton King send that one directly down. I think this is the first time the Lopes have actually had the lead in like the past 10, maybe 15 minutes. And now with a timeout coming up for USC, the Lopes, big opportunity to finish out this third set and close the entire game out in the fourth. Lopes just two points away from winning this third set. We'll be back on GCU TV. RN to BSN degree online doesn't have to be without the college experience. Finding your purpose takes support from those around you. GCU's leadership offers over three decades of experience delivering our accredited RN to BSN program 100% online. Graduate in as few as 16 months learning from full-time practicing nurse faculty in small classes. Integrate your education with your faith and Christian worldview. Find your purpose online at Grand Canyon University. Private. Christian. Affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Lopes lead by one, just two points away from taking a two sets to one lead. This would be huge for GCU or USC, whichever team closes this one out. Well, this is where GCU is going to have to close things out. They've got the one point lead. They've only two points away from taking this third set. Reduce the errors right now, and it starts with Shalev Zahada on the serve. Zahada to serve. Into the net, just hits the white band. He knew he was just late on that one. 23-23, back to tide. Kurt Lushak to serve. 
Leisha serving now. Kyle Gear coming in for the Trojans. Started a lot of games for USC this year. That serve was high. Luke Turner gets it anyways. This one back to Turner. USC handles it. Paxson over to Wyatt. Tipped. Lopes send it right back down. Great job being aggressive there. The block by the Lopes just bounces. Sky Engelman can't reach to it. USC leaves 24-23, one point away. And a timeout by GCU. We'll take one as well. We'll be right back for the finish of this third set. Earning your degree online doesn't have to be without the college experience. To find your purpose, it takes support from those around you. GCU's leadership offers over three decades of experience in delivering real-world degree programs online. GCU's online class size averages less than 17 students with full-time faculty. Find your purpose online at Grand Canyon University. Call us today at 855-428-7692. Hey Phoenix, it's Thunder Dan Marley, head coach at Grand Canyon University. Coming to GCU was a great move for me. Join Antelope Nation by enrolling as an evening student at our beautiful campus in the heart of Phoenix. Earn your bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree to take your career to the next level. Engage with industry expert instructors in small classroom settings where you can get the support you need to excel. Scholarships available. See you on campus. Go look. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu slash evening. Welcome back here, USC just one point away from finishing this set. They went on a little 2-0 run, Lopes led 23-22. Points later, USC is on the verge of taking all the momentum. Well, this is where the Lopes are going to have to shift that momentum back in their direction. Very easy lead to come back from. Just got to reduce the errors here, especially with USC one point away from taking the set. Gert Leisha to serve for the Trojans. Leisha hammers it. Melcher. Back set to Shalesada. Blocked. They hit the net. It's out. Point for GCU. 24-24 tied again. Well, last time these two teams met, they went all the way to the fifth set. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened here again. Obviously, I'd love for GCU to take this set and then finish it off in the next one, but very, very close game now. GCU's just got to finish it out here in the third. Weary served it over to Leisha. Engelman can't dig that one. He's been having such a good game so far. Doesn't get that one to go. 25-24 USC. Jack Wyatt to serve. Jack Wyatt serves it over. Melcher over to Luke Turner. It's over the hand. Great job saving it by USC. It's on the verge. And USC can't save it. We're tied again. Great heads up play by Luke Turner. Sending that right back down. Ashton King served it over. Leisha set up Moss, and they take a one-point lead again. Wouldn't be surprised if we get into the 30s in this set. We've been within one point for up to 15 points now. Somebody's got to win by two. Connor in low, coming in to serve. Floats this one over. Melcher up to Blazer, point, GCU, tied again, 26-26. It's just going to keep going back and forth, JP. It's just, it, both teams are playing incredibly well right now, reducing on the errors and taking advantage when they do happen. Of course, no one's going to play a perfect game, but right now this is where GCU has got to take advantage and get some points and close out this third set. You don't want it to go to 30, but I think you're right. I think we might be seeing it. 
Punakaniho coming in to serve, taking out Zach Melcher. Felicia. And sent back down by Lewis. And they take a one point lead. Kaniho right back out for Melcher. So Puna coming in strictly for serving. And the serve into the net. We're tied again, 27-27. It has not been the prettiest game, JP, but somehow the Lopes are still in it. And they, again, I'm just going to keep saying it until it happens. They have to somehow take advantage of the errors when they happen. Service error there by USC ties it up. 27, Leisha up to Lewis. Great diving save by Melcher. Had to get it over, though. This one to Wyatt. Melcher back towards the back line. Sky Engelman does a good job. Melcher just has to hit it over. Going to get aggressive here. That one up to Lewis. Melcher saves it. Over to Weary. Trevor Weary gets the kill. Lopes lead 28 27. What a play by Zach Melcher. Sky Engelman. It was a real team effort there keeping that ball alive. An incredible rally by the Lopes. Finding a way to take advantage of the service error on USC and the freshman, Trevor Weary, six kills. The Heavy fans of the game. were on their feet for that one. That one was absolutely electric. Luke Turner serves this one over on the edge of the net there. Blocked by the low. GCU gets the rejection and they get the third set win. They take a two sets to one lead. What a huge turn of events there. One point game throughout that whole set. The Lopes get two huge plays to finish that one off. 29-27, Lopes lead two sets to one. Take a look at how Ask GCU shows us how to make friends on campus. I'll see. Okay, sure, we got Hi, I'm Julian Oliver. And I'm Caleb Davidson. And this is Ask GCU. <laughs> What's the tweet today? Today we're wondering how do you make friends on campus? Yeah, so it's hashtag ask GCU. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> Compliments are really good, like conversation starters to make friends. What's your name? I love the beard, dude. Thank you. How long did it take you to grow that out? A week? Yes. Check us out on YouTube. You guys want to come in? Chip, 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 this is fun. <laughs> you meet a lot of friends fast. You know, you guys like look the same. You have the same shoes. Hey, be friends. Another great way to meet friends is in line. We're showing how easy it is to make friends around campus. It's really easy. <laughs> Get a girl a coffee, sit down, spark some conversation. You know what I mean, bro. So there you have it. Krista's taking selfies with Rosalie. Krista! <laughs> so there you have it. That was the tweet on how to make friends around campus. I'm Julian Oliver. And I'm Caleb Davidson. And that's Ask GCU. I just said it, but then shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna do it again? Tweet, hashtag, Ask GCU. Tweet, hashtag, Ask GCU to get your question featured. Tweet, hashtag, Ask GCU to get your question featured. Tweet, hashtag, Ask GCU to get your question featured. Welcome back here inside Antelope Gymnasium and Phil. That set was absolutely electric. The crowd, they weren't dead, but they weren't they weren't alive there late in that set. Then Trevor Weary got that kill and it erupted. Well, it kept going back and forth, JP, and I don't know who was gonna end up finishing that set, and it, it turned out Trevor Weary had other plans, finishes it out for the Lopes. I said it. Somebody was eventually gonna pull away. Thankfully it was the Lopes. They took advantage of the service error off of USC and they were able to get the, the they were able to lock it out with the third set. And uh, I gotta say I, I'm very happy and I hope that the Lopes can carry this this momentum and close it out in the fourth set. It's a huge fourth set. The Lopes do not want to keep this USC team alive. They would not like to take it to a fifth set. They did the exact same thing last time. They won the first set, lost the second, won the third, and then they let USC right back in it where they won the fourth. Then the Lopes finished them off in the fifth, but nonetheless, you want to close them out here. 
And it's all led by Shalev Saada, who has 15 kills for GCU. Yeah, the senior is having himself a night. And then, ironically, Trevor Weary also having himself a night, the freshman. I don't want to say that he's going to replace Shalev, but he's definitely one of the options to both the senior and the freshman doing great. Luke Turner's got six kills. Ashton King's got four. Caleb Blazer is also doing really well. I got to say, Zachary Melcher playing his heart out. He has kept a lot of these balls alive. He is one of the biggest reasons most of these rallies are still going. Great play for GCU. Now they just got to close things out. Yeah, you said it about Zachary Melcher. He's got 33 assists, but even more impressive, he's got six digs. He has been able to keep points alive, especially that last one. What a play by Zach Melcher that was. Reaching out with one hand, keeping it alive. And the Lopes have a ton of momentum moving to this fourth set. And they're hoping to build on that. Welcome back here. Zach Melcher back set. Luke Turner. Turner slams it home. Gets the Lopes on the point early. On the board early. One nothing. Luke Turner sends it over. Leisha back set. Blocked by the Lopes. USC keeps it alive. Forced to just hit it over. He tries to find the corner. Melcher. Shalev Sada blocked. Grosso sends that block out. So Shalev Sada gets his 16th kill of the day. Lopes lead 2-0. Yeah, great touch over by, by uh, Shalev Sada. Finishing off that play for the Lopes and getting things going early for GCU. Luke Turner serving. Cross court. Blocked by Shalev. Goes out. Gianluca Grasso with the hit. Gianluca gets the kill on that Gianluca one. Grasso, Blocking error to Shalev Saada. Grasso gets that one over. Melcher over to Weary. Very well timed on that one. Melcher again. Engelman, over to Weary, blocked, oh, and Melcher can't save that one, great block by Lewis, 2-2. Two to two. Gianluca Grasso to serve again for the Trojans. Melcher sets it. Blazer. A lift called against Melcher. Point goes to USC. Melcher seems stunned by that one. I hate to say it, but I kind of agree with the call there. It looked like Zach might have palmed the ball a little bit too much and, and uh, lifted it up. But, um, you know, mistakes are going to happen. Just got to take Grosso. advantage of when they're on the other team. Beautiful top spin serve. Got that one over Melcher. Over to Weary. He'll try again. Melcher tries Shalev Sada this time. Shalev Sada pounds the ball in excitement. And the Lopes even it up again. 3-3 finishing the USC 3-0 scoring run. Ashton King coming in for the Lopes. We'll, we'll see if Ashton King can make a difference here for GCU and hopefully put the Lopes in a bit more of a comfortable lead. It's been close every single set. Kayla Blazer keeps it up. Blazer served it, and now he gets the dig. Ashton King sent it back over. Over to Wyatt, blocked by the Lopes. Point! GCU net violation against Wyatt, and he is not happy about it. Beautiful joust at the net for GCU, getting that point. Shalev Zahada again finishing it off for GCU. And the referee's having a word now. The, uh, Wyatt just seemed absolutely stunned, having a word with the referee. Shalev Zada seemed pretty confident that he nailed the point. Currently the score stands 4-3 to three GCU right now. Jack Wyatt having a long conversation with the head official. Shalev Zada weary. 
having a word with Alicia and Ashton Kingdon in that conversation as well. Going to call the assistant referees now. Another little delay we got going on here. Well, they'll talk it over once again. Um, I look clean from here. I think I got to say, of the controversial calls, minus obviously Zach Melcher's um, lift, this is also one of those ones that is kind of called correctly. Yeah, I think they called this one right on the floor. Good block by the Lopes. But it's smart the referees are coming together. you got to come together, discuss about it, get the right call. And it's funny that all these conversations have only happened early in sets. That's good. I, you know, it, It's good to get those kind of questionable calls out of the way, I guess, now, instead of it costing somebody the game. So very, very close game. It's either going to be 4-3 or 3-3, but uh, get them out now. And then once we get into how we had last set in those 22, 23, you know, 24, 24 sort of uh, scoring, I want to say, I think the point fits. will stand. Yeah, it looks like the point will stand. But uh, get, get the questionable calls out now, JP. Yep. The late parts of this set, of each set, have gone pretty swiftly and gone, gone smoothly, which is exactly what you want to see. But the teams have taken their time in the early parts of it. Big delay. Wyatt still very pissed about that one. Caleb Blazer to serve. The referees call it the same. Caleb Blazer to serve for the Lopes. This one over to Wyatt trying to redeem himself. He'll get that one. A lot of anger in that yeah, one. Yeah, Wyatt probably feels real good about smacking that one down to the ground. But... Uh, Hopefully GCU will return one right back to him. Sam Lewis to serve now. Set for Luke Turner. It's tapped down. Great play by Luke Turner. Gets the little kiss and gets it right over. Five to four. Lopes lead. Shalev to serve. to serve. Shalevsada got a little on top of that one. The serves haven't been in tune today. No, service errors have been a big issue for both teams. 16 for USC and 17 for GCU. And most of them have come from Shalev Sahada, but thankfully Shalev has found other ways to contribute to this team. 17 kills for the senior. Alicia to serve. And he's in the net as well. Service error back to back by service error. Six to five. GCU Trevor Weary will serve for the Lopes. Trevor floats this one over. Wyatt all the way over. Great dig by Engelman. Melcher cross court to Luke Turner. It's blocked out of bounds. Luke Turner gets the kill, gets the bench on their feet. It'd be nice to see this set go completely different than the other ones and see GCU carry a stronger lead than more than just three. Neither team has done that yet. The attacking errors are exactly even, 14-14. But the Lopes have three more kills and a block by Ashton King. Sends it right back down. Lopes lead by one, eight to five. Ashton King proving that he is, of course, the king of the court. He leads the team in blocks, leads, has the all-time record for the men's volleyball team in blocks. And gets another one there. He's having a good final game here tonight in Antelope Gymnasium. Guys, five blocks so far. Paxson. That one is out. Great job by Weary letting that one go by. Ryan Moss put a little too much on that one. And it goes out. Trevor Weary, 3-4-0 scoring run for the Lopes. It was tied 5-5, now 9-5. Weary would like to keep it going. Skims the net. This one over. Set right back down by Luke Turner. That is exactly what you're talking about, Phil. Luke Turner capitalizing on the USC error. Yeah, great job by Luke Turner. Like I said, capitalize as much as you can. This is the biggest lead GCU has had so far. Five, and I hope they keep adding on to it. Going to see a sub here. 
for USC. Matt Douglas is going to be the new libero. It's only played in 42 sets this year compared to Cole Paxson's 65. Oh, Looks like they might have taken the point away, JP. Attacking error by Luke Turner is what they're calling. Didn't see that one. I thought initially they pointed by the side out for GCU. So ball doesn't lie. Ten to six. Lopes the lead by four. Ashton King gets it over. Douglas tipped over by Grosso. Saved by the Lopes. Is it going to get over? That was the fourth hit. Yeah, not yeah. a bad save attempt by Zachary Melcher. Just didn't get it right over yeah, the net. Yeah, Luke Turner hit it. I don't think it was going to get over the net anyways, but Luke Turner hit it for the fourth hit. That was the violation. Well, had Turner held, held off, it looked like USC was going to push the ball over. Yeah, so I think the, the play would have kept going. Would have been close. Trevor Weary got the dig. Luke Turner. Luke Turner will get the point there. Hammers it home. The block goes out of bounds. Luke Turner puts the Lopes back up by three. Excuse me, four. This one set up. Grosso hammers that one home. The 6-2 junior brings it down hard. Well, throughout the game, JP, it seems like when GCU would get a point, USC would follow it up, and I'm actually kind of okay with that with GCU having such a strong lead. Three points is a cushion. You just can't allow any USC runs. Melcher to Turner. Tipped. Wyatt. Back set. And it's in. I don't think they thought that was going out. I think it was just a little miscommunication between Melcher and Weary. Normally Weary is supposed to dive in on that one, being on that back line. And USC pulls within two. Moss serves it over. Melcher over to Shalev Zada. Shalev Zada gets the kill. His 18th of the game. Absolutely on fire. And Shalev, the senior, really put, playing hard for GCU. He's kept this team definitely in the game. 18 kills for the big senior. In the Lopes, five-set win against USC in February. Shalev had 13 kills in four sets. He's already got 18, and we're still not even midway through this fourth set. Gianluca Grasso to serve for the Trojans. Grosso tips the net. Engelman digs it from his knees. Weary tipped and out. Trevor Weary gets the kill for the Lopes. 13-10 GCU. Freshman making an impact off the bench. Has found himself a place on this team and is making his presence known. This one sent over, blocked by the Lopes, saved by USC. Oh, and they can't get to that one. They tried to block the second hit, and it tipped up and out. Point for USC. Three Lopes dived in for that one. None of them could Sam get to Lewis it in time. 13-11. Sam Lewis to serve for the Trojans. And Sam Lewis, that's the second time. He's kind of just had a dud as a serve, and it lands like low on the net. Yeah, well, this is, you know, might as well let him happen, JP. But the thing is, how do you bounce back from him? And GCU is going to have to bounce back strong and try to get points off the mistakes of USC. And here's a big opportunity here to do just that. Shalev Zahada hammers it over. Blocked, saved by Luke Turner. Melcher up to Weary, takes a step back. And a point for the Lopes. Trevor Weary gets the kill. Timeout on the floor for USC. Lopes lead 15 to 11. They lead by four. Having a good game so far. We'll be back to finish off this fourth set. 
Grand Canyon University Championship Golf Course features over 7,200 yards of tees and tree-lined fairways, signature par threes, greenside bunkers, and a 22,000 square foot clubhouse. The Lope House Restaurant, serving modern American cuisine, is open to the public seven days a week. Come experience the best golf and dining destination in the heart of Phoenix. Book your tee times at gcugolf.com. Hey Phoenix, it's Thunder Dan Marley, head coach at Grand Canyon University. Coming to GCU was a great move for me. Join Antelope Nation by enrolling as an evening student at our beautiful campus in the heart of Phoenix. Earn your bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree to take your career to the next level. Engage with industry expert instructors in small classroom settings where you can get the support you need to excel. Scholarships available. See you on campus. Go Lopes. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu slash evening. We're back. Lopes lead by four. 15 to 11. Hoping to finish off the game in this set. They're just 10 away. Hopefully they can finish off that 10, JP, and close this one out. Last time they played SC, it did go to five sets. This is where GCU can hopefully take advantage. Shalevsa out of the serve for the Lopes. Let's go Lopes. The Chan out here. And Shalevsa out gets a good serve that time. Powerful. The attack is out. Point for the Lopes. They lead by five. So this is the kind of start that GCU needed to take advantage of the service errors. I've been talking all night about GCU taking advantage of the mistakes of SC, and it looks like they are finally doing just that. Now they just got to close this one out. She left out another powerful serve. Melcher got aggressive, hit it right back. Three-way block for GCU. Trevor Weary, Zachary Melcher, and Ashton King. They all team up for a block for GCU. The bench goes wild. They have a powerful lead of 17 to 11. Well, it seems that Melcher kind of got bailed out. He might have hit that return extremely hard. He got bailed out after it hit off an SC player. And then, like you said, the three-headed monster, King, Weary, and Melcher finish it off for the Lopes. Great job by GCU. They lead by six. They're on a four-nothing scoring run. Shalefs Ada continues to serve. Three powerful serves by him. Four set by them. USC keeps it alive. USC off the head point. GCU 18 to 11. Lopes lead. Net presence is what you said from the beginning, and the last two points have been a perfect depiction of that. Well, there are, you can thank Ashton King, Zachary Meltzer, and Trevor Weary for the presence at the net. The three of them are absolutely keeping the Lopes in this lead. Seven points now for GCU. They just got to close it out. And we said it was so key that Shalev Saada figures out his serve. He had a rough start. Three service errors so far for him. And the last four points have been powerful monster serves. He'll try to do it again. But first, a timeout by the Trojans. They're trying to recover from this 5-0 run. Lopes lead by seven. We'll finish out the fourth set when we come back. GCU's College of Science, Engineering, and Technology offers a premier STEM education with relevant curricula designed to lead you to a career in the competitive fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. GCU is investing in the future of our STEM programs with multiple state-of-the-art facilities providing students with access to cutting-edge technology. Our STEM education is motivated by a Christian worldview which cultivates ethical decision-making. The College of Science, Engineering, and Technology fosters traits in adaptability, collaboration, creativity, as well as ethical and social awareness, which makes our graduates from our STEM programs more competitive. Through robust collaboration and partnership with industries that require a STEM-prepared workforce, our faculty concentrates exclusively on student success within a deeply nurturing Christian setting. Find out more at gc.edu slash cset. Well, Lopes lead by seven, and they're just seven points away from winning the match. They lead two sets to one. And GCU's been playing very, very well. It's led, thankfully, by that front three of 
King, Weary, and Melcher keeping the Lopes in this game, finishing off uh, kills, getting great blocks. Now they just got to close things out, walk away with a nice win to end the season. Shalev Zahada to serve for the Lopes. He's had four straight very powerful serves. Let's see if he can make it a fifth. And he does. Very good serve. Has had USC running. Saved by Luke Turner. Melcher. This one to Shalev Saada. And it's out. Just out. Shalev seemed to know it right away. Yeah, and not USC a, pulls within six. Yeah, not a bad look for Very Shalev, well, but uh, just a little bit too much on that hit. Sends it out of bounds. He's got to get back, one back here. Chris Hall checks in. He'll serve. This one's set over to Weary. Trevor Weary gets the pretty easy kill. USC didn't really go after that one. Trevor Weary found the gap in the back line. Lopes back up by seven. Yeah, he did exactly just that, JP. Finding the back side of the court for another point for GCU. They lost a point off that uh, hit by Shalev, and they get it back thanks to Trevor Weary. That over. Great dig by Sky Engelman. He's been having a heck of a game so far. Luke Turner taps it. Saved by USC from the knees. Oh, Ashton King can't get a hand in there. But what a dig by Sky Engelman. He's been having a heck of a game. Yeah, an incredible dig by Sky Engelman. He's playing incredibly well. 17 digs for him so far. He's keeping the Lopes alive, as well as Zachary Melcher. Just a little bit of an unfortunate situation there on the left-hand side of the court. Jack Wyatt leading the Trojans with kills, 13. He'll serve. Engelman digs. Melcher right along the net to Luke Turner. Another block there, dived in. Sky Engelman, great dig. This one over to Turner. Timing was a bit off, but he got a lot of power behind it. Blocked by the Lopes. GCU, huge miss bump by Zach Melcher and Ashton King. And they hammer that block. Right back down, Lopes lead by seven again. The momentum is now in the way of the Lopes. Melcher with a huge block once again for GCU. You, you, win, it, you win a huge set like that third one yeah. when it's 29 to 27, and you're going to get a ton of momentum, <laughs> and, the, and the Lopes just channeled that energy. And a poor effort by USC. Melcher, back set, Shalev Zahada, a kill for Shalev Zahada. Lopes are pumped. The fans are on their feet, and this is an exciting finish to their season. Another timeout for USC. They can't stop the Lopes, and we'll be right back. Four points away from winning the fourth set. Hi. My, my name is Ellie Denise. I'm Caleb Davidson. We are the... GCU's College of Science, Engineering, and Technology offers a premier STEM education with relevant curricula designed to lead you to a career in the competitive fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. GCU is investing in the future of our STEM programs with multiple state-of-the-art facilities providing students with access to cutting-edge technology. Our STEM education is motivated by a Christian worldview which cultivates ethical decision-making. The College of Science, Engineering, and Technology fosters traits in adaptability, collaboration, creativity, as well as ethical and social awareness, which makes our graduates from our STEM programs more competitive. Through robust collaboration and partnership with industries that require a STEM-prepared workforce, our faculty concentrates exclusively on student success within a deeply nurturing Christian setting. Find out more at gcu.edu slash CSET. Well, Lopes just four points away from winning this fourth set, hoping to finish the game off here. And they've been playing much better than USC in this set. The kills and attacking errors and service errors were all pretty even. Now the Lopes have less errors and more kills in this set. They have cleaned the play up, and it shows on the scoreboard. Clean play there by USC, though. Grasso gets the kill. Yeah, Grasso just splitting the defense on the back side of the court. Like you said, JP, the Lopes have definitely cleaned up a lot of the play. Now it's the Trojans who are making a lot of the service errors and a lot of the errors in general. Serve comes in into the net. 
Kyle Gear cannot get that one over, so a side out for GCU. Just three points away from winning. This is almost anticlimactic. The real exciting win was in that third set. The crowd kind of taken out of it after that big Lopes run, but I'm sure they'll get into it once the Lopes make a big play. Going for the block, Shalev gets a piece of it. It goes out. Point for Gianluca Grasso. Uh, like you said, JP, it just I wouldn't say the air has been taken out of the sails of the Lopes crowd, but it's definitely calmed down a lot more since that set, since that third set. And if the Lopes can get a big play, they get the crowd back in it and really end this game out. Lopes just three away from winning, still have a comfortable lead of seven. Melcher over to Shalev's auto blocked right at his feet. The lead is shrinking slowly but surely down to six, 22 to 16. That serve was taken by Ryan Moss. He'll do it again. Throws it up high, spinning. Great dig by Weary. Melcher back set to Luke Turner. Another solid block by Sam Lewis. Lewis with a powerful block. Yeah, cannot let the Trojans back into this one. Still a comfortable lead for GCU, but got to end the run. Yeah, exactly. 3 nothing run for USC. They're back within five. High serve. Engelman digs it right along the net. Melcher backs at the Luke Turner. Another great block. Sky Engelman gets to it. Shalev and another block. Three straight perfect blocks by USC. Gets them right back in this game. 4-0 run. They trail by four. We'll take a break as the Lopes try to hold off the Trojans. Getting the right college isn't always simple. The choices I make today affect where I'll be tomorrow. That's why I chose Grand Canyon University. Here I'm working toward a greater purpose and a place that feels like home. With scholarships to help me earn my degree, I can graduate in less than four years. By attending GCU, Arizona's premier private Christian university, I know I'm not just making the right choice. I'm making the smart choice. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private Christian Affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Hey you, are you ready? Grab your pack, grab your tent, grab your gear. Jump in. We're going on an adventure. In Arizona, there's so much to see, so much to experience. At GCU, adventure is never too far away. Offering over 200 academic programs with a Christian worldview and nestled in the heart of Phoenix, you can earn your degree in fewer than four years and explore everything Arizona has to offer. Find your purpose at GCU. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu slash azroadtrip. Lopes lead by four, but USC is coming hard. Four nothing run by USC. Lopes just three points away from winning. Waiting for that timeout clock to expire. Both teams didn't really need the full timeout. They were out here with about 30 seconds remaining on the clock. The Lopes players were pumping up the Lopes fans, trying to get them back into this. 22-18 the score. Ryan Moss with the serve. Moss hammers it over. Luke Turner, this one's going to come back on the USC side. Poor execution by the Lopes. Block by GCU. It goes out. Another point by USC. 5-0 run, 22-19. Puna Canillo coming in for GCU. Zach Melcher checking out late in this game. Maybe Coach Worley's hoping Puna can spark a little burst here. Ryan Moss. Engelman, Puna, up to Blazer. And the Lopes do a great job to just get that over the net. Went off Luke Turner's knee and a block by GCU. USC tried to get the attack over, but Luke Turner with a strong block. This is the kind of play that GCU is going to need. This is the kind of play they've been waiting for. Get these fans back into this game and close this thing out here in the fourth set. A gritty play there by the Lopes. The fans are on their feet. Still two points away from winning. Leisha saved by Puna. Great job. Weary just taps it over. Finds the gap. Moss gets there. Leisha sets it up. Blocked by the Lopes. Engelman dives into the press box to get it. Puna Canillo over to Trevor Weary. USC handles it. Leisha back set to Wyatt. Oh, and Puna Canillo can't handle it. 
Jack Wyatt gets the hit. What a rally that was. Yeah, an incredible rally by GCU, and unfortunately hits right off the hand of Puna Punio, but hopefully GCU can get a point back here. Service errors have been a big issue for USC in this set. Luke Turner rooting the fans on. Grasso serves it in. Weary, great job. Puna Canillo over back to Weary. Blocked. Shalev just hit it back over. And a heads up play by USC. Sam Lewis is so tall he can just kind of hit it down there with barely needing to jump. Catches the Lopes by surprise. Two point game. Lopes just two away. Gianluca Grasso. Now, Coach Worley doing all the subs he can to just get some energy. He's going to bring in all of them now for Caleb Blazer, I believe. He's just trying to get any sparks of energy he can. Yeah, get somebody to change some things up. And like you said, some fresh legs and some, some different energy. Hopefully can get GCU to close out this fourth set. Luke Turner trying to root on the fans, getting them in this game. They're on their feet right next to us, and it is deafening. Gianluca will serve, and it's out. Lopes just one point away from winning this final game of the regular season. 24 to 21. That ended the 6-1 scoring run USC had. Now all the fans are on their feet, and this stadium is ready to erupt. Yeah, and this is a great point for GCU to erupt here. Another service error for USC, 21 in the whole game. Kayla Blazer gets the serve over. A little miscommunication. It's too loud in here. They can't hear. One-handed save by Luke Turner. Canillo over to Weary, the freshman, blocked right back on the low side of the court. They'll try it again in just a moment, 24-22. Yeah. Nothing Trevor Weary could have done about that. A great block up front by USC. And now GCU one point away to close it out. Hopefully, servicers have been an issue for SC. They'd hate it if they ended the game like this, but GCU could take advantage of the struggles of USC. Risky move by the Trojans, bringing in Noah Franklin here to serve. First serve of the game. Fans are on their feet, super loud. And an ace for Noah Franklin. The Trojans have come all the way back. They were down by eight points, 19 to 11. Timeout by the Lopes. They'll try to get one point and win this game. We'll be right back on GCU TV. <laughs> do you know what Ask GCU is? Um, I do not. Do you guys have an Instagram? On Twitter. My, it's my guess. Do you know the best place to find the, the best SGC at the same time? Yeah, that's absolutely. That's really good. When are we going to get massage chairs? I heard we're getting steak for chops. That's right. Tweet it. I'm going to answer it. Well, USC just breaking their huddle. Lopes have been out of their huddle for about the last 20 seconds or so. They were ready. Quick little play drawn up by Coach Worley. USC has used a lot of their time. I think they've used both their timeouts already in this half. GCU went through theirs, so we'll be playing through. And Noah Franklin will continue to serve. Gutsy play by USC's coach. Bringing him in. It worked for one point. Let's see if it'll work again. Lopes, one point away from a big win. Gets it over. Engelman dig. Puna Canillo backs up to Shalev Zada. Shalev Zahada finishes off the game for the Lopes. The bench mobs him on the court, and the fans absolutely lose their minds. 25 to 23, the final set here. Lopes win in four sets. Is that not the best way to end this game? Shalev, the senior. 
20 kills on this game, finishes it off for the Lopes in four, and now they can carry some momentum, hopefully into the playoffs. A great win for GCU, some incredible play. Luke Turner, 10 kills. Zachary Melcher, 44 assists, 19 digs by Sky Engelman. Fantastic play by the Lopes, never gave up, and closed it out in four. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you got your money's worth. It was a great game, I'm sure we did. Four set win for GCU. That's it for the men's regular season. Follow them on Twitter or Facebook or go to GCULopes.com to find out more about their playoff matchups or any other GCU athletics. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Have a great night and go Lopes.